I hope you're feeling incredible so far. I just woke up. This video is gonna be a little bit different than the normal vlog, but this is a highly requested one that I am quite excited about. For so long, a lot of you guys have been asking for an updated skincare routine. Also, how I do my makeup, what products do I use? So, I'm gonna kinda put it all together into one. And don't you worry, the next video will be back to the regular vlog style videos. Without further ado, let's get the day started. Still I reach, find a way, stuck here in between, I'm looking for the right words to say. When I enter the bathroom in the morning, I always brush the teeth first, I always wash the face first. It just makes me feel good, get that cold water. Giovanni, he is tearing through that rug. My mom is not going to be happy. Stop! The current toothpaste that I am using is Colgate Optic White. I usually stick to a toothpaste that has some sort of whitening agent in it, just to keep the teeth nice and pearly white. Shots of Patrol! You guys could tell maybe you could see right there I just touched up my roots last night so like the dye is kind of fresh it usually takes like a day or two to wipe it actually off so for now I'm gonna be rocking the marks but this is the dye because I know a lot of times you guys ask me like what shade black this is one just the darkest color that L'Oreal Paris has I've been dyeing my hair black for I can't even remember how long maybe like five six years now and this is the only type of dye I've ever used I've actually never dyed it at a salon do it at home saves money it's like eight bucks <laughs> Moving on to the face. Now some of you may know, some of you may not know, acne has been something that I've been dealing with and experiencing for as long as I can remember. As time is continuing to move on, skin has improved tremendously. Still get the occasional breakout here and there, like I got two little friends on my cheek right now. But all in all, it's definitely been improved and I definitely, I just said definitely twice, I definitely, now I just said it three times, feel that the line dermatologic has made all the difference in kind of like my skin and taking care of it. For starters, this is the special cleansing gel. This is what I use morning and at night or if I wash my face any other time during the day. This product is not something I use every single day but I implement it like two to three, two to three times a week and oh my gosh, it leaves my face feeling so smooth and smooth as a baby's blood off. This is powder form and you mix it with a little water, it's like a paste and I usually put it on when I'm in the shower, leave it on a little bit and I just rub it like I'm exfoliating my skin and it leaves it feeling so nice. I almost forgot about this bad boy, it wasn't even out. This is the multi-active toner, I spray this on my face after I wash with the daily cleanse. Once that settles in, I put my moisturizer on. The clearing mattifier I always put on also in my T-zone because that helps with breakouts and on top of that helps with controlling like the oil because I have oily skin. <laughs> Makeup. Giovanni is of course eating his towel now. <laughs> Before we move on with this, I am inserting a clip right here from, oh my god, it's getting louder. Giovanni, what are you doing? I have a little clip I want to insert from yesterday. did a little makeup haul because there were a bunch of items that I was running low on that I needed new of and a few that my sister recommended for me. So in three, two, one, let's do it. Just made it to Ulta, I have my handy dandy list. I'm gonna be doing clay matte foundation by Tarte and the shade that I currently am is medium tan honey. Now usually in the summertime when I got a little more glow to my skin, I'm darker but for now, this pasty girl, that's the color we're going with. Here we go. This is a burning product I've never used before. I usually was using the Maybelline primer. My sister suggested this one so it's by Too Faced and it is the Hangover RX. We went and into some brushes. This one I am going to be getting by Anastasia, and it is a eyeliner brush because the one I have, like all the little bristles are all free. Got everything on the list. A few things we weren't able to purchase because I didn't have it in stock, but that's okay. We're gonna work with what we have. Last but not least, I have this treatment for my hair. It's a mixture of sheer butter and coconut oil. I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, gotta strengthen these ends a little bit. Airing out the hair because we have a little snow on it. The store is about to close. We're here just in time. We are gonna stop at Sephora for some Kat Von D foundation. I like this foundation because it has like extra coverage. I feel like it's super like, I wouldn't say thick, but it just like, you know, covers up any scars and pimples you got. Without further ado, let's get into the makeup routine. So first and foremost, here we go. We're starting off with a primer. Ooh, I didn't even know how it worked. Look at that. 
bada bing bada boom. One little side note, I've mentioned this before, but when it comes to makeup, ooh, kinda smells good. I don't know too much about it, but one thing I have to say is the more I do it, I feel like I'm getting better. It's definitely something I wanna continue learning because I feel like it's fun, it's like an art. It's foundation time. Now these are like my two go-to sponges. I have a bunch of other ones. This one I usually use for like my powder, my concealer, and this bad boy is what I use for all my foundation. I tend to do a little mix and matching, you know, add a little dab of this, a little dab of that. So here we have the Kat Von D. This is the light one, the light 49, because there's like a bunch of different kinds. This one I love, as I was telling you guys, because it has super good coverage. Like when I have all these marks here, it just covers it up, it like zaps it, it's like instant. It's like I got airbrush face and you don't even see it no more. So I usually do a little mix of this and then also the Tarte foundation. This is a clay base and my mom actually got me hooked onto it. I like the way it stays. I feel like it lasts the whole entire day. This one is the medium tan honey. This is a lot lighter than I use in the actual summertime. When I am in the summertime, I use the NAR and I use the Cuba, which is the medium three. is all complete now of course you have to have your neck match your face you never want to have that all mismatched so I put a little bit on this brush gonna you know blend it all in here oh yeah oh yeah one thing I do sometimes because my hands don't always match my face is I usually take a little bit of powder and I just rub it on there too you know so everything matches so we're not all mixed match a rooney so this is the tart shape tape. When I bought this the first time, I was so confused. It was so funny. I was like, I need something with this tape. And then she's like, oh, you mean the concealer? I was like, yeah. This color is medium. And so I just put it underneath my eyes. You know, that little triangle doohickey. Put another triangle doohickey. I go down my nose like that. Right over here on my forehead. And then last but not least, right on my chin. I like this because I feel like it has really good coverage also, like it lasts the whole day. We're gonna put some translucent powder, Laura Mercier. This is a baby one. I also have my bigger one here, but this one's running low and this one's running low, but for now we're gonna use the baby one. And I pretty much go over wherever I put concealer. I love this. I think I use way too much than I should. Instead of using these oil blotting pads that I used to use by Clean and Clear, I like to just dab some powder. Oh my god, I just dumped it. Great, I barely have any left and I'm putting it on myself right now on my clothes. But I basically put this as the day goes on and I start to get oily. I'm gonna contour the face a little bit. I am gonna be using Too Faced. Is that a pun? I don't know. But the color is deep tan. A few brushes I like to use when I do my face. I got the big one over here, the little mini one over here, and this angled brush here, you know, to get the cheekbones in and then I use this one for my little nosy. I always get underneath here, the jawline, cheekbones, then I also get very top where my roots are, wet the neck a little bit more. Always gotta get the ears, you know, you can't have white ears and then a tan face, you know what I'm saying? Do a little contouring of the nose. My very favorite part of the face, it's the eyebrows. Product number one, It Cosmetics Brow Power is what it says. And then I also use that Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called, cause you know I don't know names. It is a Dip Brow Pompade Medium Brown. You know, I brush all the hairs up. Use this kind of just to do like rough edges, start to start to fill them in. Kind of shaping them up a little bit. Now this is where I come in and actually like fine tune the lines and really get in good detail. Don't really fill them in too dark on the inner part. That's where I kind of just fray the hairs out. Where I focus is more here and coming out here and also underneath here. But I don't fill it in here. I try to keep that kind of light and let it slightly blend out as the eyebrow so now I kind of just put some concealer underneath here. I'm going to use my handy dandy brush. Get a glimpse of this. Look at that. Kind of just go right underneath it. Clean it all up. The line's super straight. I do that. And just when you thought it was done, it's not. I take a little powder. We kind of just get rid of all that concealer. You know, blend it on in. Even it out. And 
and we are good to go. You got some banging on fleek eyebrows. And just like that, you got yourself some eyebrows. Moving on to eyeshadow. Now the two palettes that I usually stick to on a day-to-day -day basis is this, which my sister bought me for Christmas. It is the Lorac Matte Pro. And I really like the shades that it has in it. And then I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Now for those of you that don't know, this baby smells so good. <sighs> which is probably one of the main reasons I use it. And this is another like, kinda as you can see, like a bunch of browns, shimmery, bless you Giovanni. Kinda depends on the day. Sometimes I just stick it to really simple. Other days I go a lot darker. I start off with really light colors. Like I use the linen and the bear, which, whoop, are, whoop, <laughs> are these two colors. And then I work my way out to becoming a little darker. Now this brush right here and kind of highlight it with a lighter color right here and over here and then right where the eye ducts are. We're almost at the home stretch guys, time to do the eyeliner. Now this part used to stress me out beyond belief. I feel like I'm getting better. It's not as, I when I do the wing I feel like it's not as horrible and chunky and like I don't know, I feel like I'm getting more better at it, you know? Improvement, that's all that it matters. So this is black ink number one. This is the pod by Bobbi Brown. So it depends on the day, but usually I'll do the top, do a little wing out there, and get underneath. Some days I don't do underneath, but you know what, today we're gonna do everything. The whole shebang. Being that the eyeliner is still a work in progress, I then take this brush and I clean it up. I used to think like, oh my gosh, the world's gonna end. I didn't do it well. But now I know, I can just clean it up with this. If it's too thick, I can kind of skinny it up. I'm gonna go back in and fix that. Ooh. is looking good. I have a ton of mascaras, but the one I've been using is the Grandiose Extreme Lancome Pretty Bottle. Got a nice little cute flower. Oh yes, we are at the home stretch. Have to do obviously some highlight. You gotta get a little shimmer shimmer. This is one item that I sometimes use, Smashbox. Smashbox Hollow Highlighting Wand. Or I use, what brand is this? Physician's Formula. My sister bought me. This is called the Shimmer Strips Vegas Strip Light Light Bronzer. Looks like this. Dun, 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 dun. So sometimes I'll go and put this and then shimmer a little bit on top. I go right here, here. I sometimes put a little dip, 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 dibble dabble on my nose and then right above my lips. Your face is never done without a little bit of something something on your lip. We're gonna do this shade for the lips. Then I also have a lip liner pencil, you know, so I fill it all on in. <laughs> Finishing touch by Urban Decay. It's called All Nighter Setting Spray. Boop boop boop. Woo! And we're done, baby! Woohoo! Gotta take the hair down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't use really any hair product at all. Majority of the time, the way you guys see my hair, it's just its natural flow. You know, I toss it this way, I toss it that way. That is going to conclude this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as I stated earlier, the next video will be back to being a regular style vlog. I love you all so much. I'll see you very soon. And until then, enjoy yourself, smile, live life to the fullest, and take care.